Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a memory spread for the week of September 17th through the 23rd, which is first week of autumn on Sunday, so that's exciting. I thought I would use this beautiful little kit. Um, this was just like three pages of the six, so I thought I could make it work with this. So this is from Simply Ginger Co. I have the full boxes and some little quarter boxes. I have lots of icons, some more boxes, um, weekend banner, some functional deco, which is super cute, and the bottom washi and some washi strips and stuff, and more boxes. So I only have three half boxes, but I think that will totally work with all of the quarter boxes that I have, and this wasn't a very busy week, so I think we'll be fine. I'm also going to bring in some date covers from Avalon and Ninth. I'm going to use this dusty rose color, and I have some numbers here. I hope I have enough. Do I? Oh, I don't have a 23. I'm going to have to grab another one of these sheets to grab a 23. But I'm going to use this color, like I said. So, and I might incorporate some of this rose gold washi from Simply Gilded. And I have a few rose gold things. I am trying to build up my rose gold collection. So I don't have a ton. But I do have a couple things that I might be able to incorporate. So we will see about that. Um, I do have some pictures over here that I'm going to add in as well. So let's stop talking and get started. I'm going to switch to a voiceover and yeah, let's get into this. So I'm going to start with this gorgeous bottom washi. I love the florals in this kit. They're so pretty and the colors are just gorgeous. And then I'm just stacking some washi and I'm actually going to change this in a minute, but I put that down there just to kind of fill some space in the journaling section. And then I'm just replacing the flags on both sides. And then I'm using these date covers from Avalon and Ninth, this dusty rose color, which is perfect. And I ran out of numbers and had to grab another sheet. And these are thick enough where I don't have to white out anything behind them, which is really nice. And then I kind of had to decide what I was going to do up here because I didn't want to use glitter headers and I didn't have any that matched anyway. So I decided to just use these washi strips and alternate them. And I really like how that turned out. It's um, very like... I don't know, non-traditional, it looks kind of cool. And then here's the weekend banner. And then over on the sidebar, I used this hello box with the pumpkin on it. And then just another piece of washi below that for my journaling section with the little heart. And I just wrote this week on there. I'll come back to that in a minute. And here is the spread that I'm basing this week off of in my main planner. And then back to this spread, I am just cutting down my thumbnail to put on Monday. That's the video I put up that plan with me is one of my favorites. And then I'm kind of jumping around on Tuesday. I wanted to mark my best friend's birthday. Um, and I just wrote on there above that. I'm kind of like redoing it as I go but um I put 12 years knowing each other I'm so grateful for our friendship she makes me laugh and helps me when I need it and I'm going to move that up just I'm just going to add in there a little bit and then put the cute little hedgehog above that and then at the top of Tuesday I put a coffee cup and put presented at the school board meeting for the first time this year. They're always so supportive, which is so nice. They always have great questions and they listen. And then I'm going to move back to Monday and put down that beautiful full box above my thumbnail. And then at the top I put um, leadership meeting on a little quarter box and wrote, went well, learned some things that principals have to deal with kind of glad that I'm not getting my certification right now. Still torn on it though. I kind of go back and forth. I mean there's nothing I can do about it now because I've already like gone too far into my program to change my mind but I still feel like solid about my decision 
to hold off on that. It just doesn't feel right right now. So glad I'm getting my degree though. By the way, if you don't know, it's in um, school leadership and policy. And then on Wednesday, I put on a half box, lots of meetings at the middle school with a little cute bow clip. And then I'm going to put in a couple of things here. And I think the theme this week is move everything around and use a lot of whiteout. So below that little half box, I put going really well this year. We're making progress. The middle school has always been kind of a hard campus for me, but we are doing much, much better. And then down there, I marked that I had a self-care night, just what I needed with the little nail polish bottle. And below that, I put the thumbnail for my video that went up that day. And here I'm just organizing some big pictures that I want to be sure to use. Excuse me. Friday is my second favorite F word. That is the truth. <laughs> I have a potty mouth if you don't already know that. And I'm just placing in some full boxes just because I wanted to make sure that I used them. So cute. I love the clip art in this kit. I missed out on the two little bees one and this one hit the spot. Okay, up on Thursday, I put the little computer and um, put my kids are getting their Chromebooks next week or the next. And then I have this meme that says, the IT department is working on it. But underneath, I put still excited. I just want to get started. And it's been a slower process than we were expecting. But you know what? It's okay. And then below that, I put my blue apron box was delayed and one of the recipes was ruined with the little grocery um, basket. I was really annoyed by that. Um, on Friday, I am marking the um, the first Texas Senate debate between my guy Beto and um, Ted Cruz. So I'm just kind of shifting things around a little bit. So I moved that to a quarter box just to save a little bit of space. And then I put in this full box above that and then a little sliver of washi and I rewrote it, but I marked on the blue apron thing that this is a first world problem for sure because I should not have been upset about that. It's not that big of a deal. And my pen is kind of crapping out on me, but I think it was also an uneven surface, so I made it work though. And then on Saturday, I marked that I spent three hours getting my... um some maintenance done on my car. Just, I drive a lot, so I try to keep up on that. And that little car is so cute. And underneath that, I put this Oprah quote that says, be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never have enough. I love that. And then below that, I put finished Absentia, which was on Amazon Prime. It was really good. I put, I liked it, but it was also weird. It was real weird, and I like weird stuff. But I think I need to watch it again or something. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. It was just a little too much. I liked it though. And then on Sunday, I marked that I did a lot of filming that morning. And that it was also laundry day. And cleaning day. Basically, I just wanted to use all the cute icons and the cute little scripts. But I really did do all those things. It was a boring day. I had to fill up space, basically. <laughs> and then I'm also using this fall girl again, except I'm using the one with the leaves. It's so cute. This was the first full day of fall. So I wanted to mark that and I put, I am so ready, which is exactly what I put last week. I've been ready for fall and I put next week it should cool off, which it did. I was so excited. And then I'm just kind of working. I know you can't see it right now. I'll move it. But I have this um, full box left that was so pretty. And so I just cut the top off of it and put it over in my journaling section. I really like how that turned out. And then I also put this quote from Oscar Wilde that says, and all at once summer collapsed into fall. And then in my very short journaling section, I put this is, was an exhausting week at school, but I have a bunch of fun things coming up to look forward to. Okay, here is the finished spread. This turned out so cute. I love the artwork in this kit. I missed out on the fox and, no, the, what is it? Uh, Two Little Bees kit, but I got this one and 
it made up for it. So super, super cute. I totally forgot to put in anything rose gold. So that happened, but I still love this. I love it so much. I'm so ready for fall spreads. I kind of did one over here, but this is a fall spread. So yeah, love it. That little hedgehog is so cute. And I love those little boots and her. I just love everything. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this spread. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.